Rebuilding a Tangy Model Steam Engine Part 17, fitting the crankshaft. I wanted to feature this part of the rebuild separately, because fitting the crankshaft correctly is one of the most important things when reassembling a model steam engine. If you don't get this part right, then all the other parts won't be right, and as you can see, this one doesn't line up. The obvious thing to do is to remove the bolts holding the outer bearing support and turn it round on the main bed plate. And as I'm doing this job, I notice that there are two dots punched on the outer part of the bearing, and one dot punched in the base. And once I reassembled the outer bearing, it lined up much better with the crankshaft, but it didn't align very well vertically. I very carefully removed a small amount of metal from the bearing base using my belt sander. Originally, this fitted OK, so what's the problem? The bearings were oval and everything was a rattle fit. Now the bearings are a bearing fit, it's a different story. I had two or three attempts at removing metal from the outer bearing, and then it was about right, so it's time to fit the crankshaft and see what it feels like. Had I have removed too much metal from the bottom of the outer bearing, then it would need packing, but I don't think so, I think I've got this about right. As you can see from this clip, the crankshaft is a perfect fit in the bearings, a little bit too perfect. But it's in line, and it feels good, it's just a little bit stiff. But as the crankshaft is not quite so stiff when it's through each of the bearings individually, I think I need to put a reamer through the pair of the bearings to make sure that they are perfectly in alignment. And the first part of the job is to tighten the bolts holding the outer bearing down to the bed plate. And here I'm retrying the crankshaft, and as you can see, it goes through both of the bearings, and it's not very tight at all. But don't forget, with any kind of a bearing surface, you need to have a tiny bit of clearance to let the oil do its work. And this, after all, is a very small steam engine, so a little bit of tolerance won't go amiss, and the way I'm doing this is just to run a reamer through. This is a hand reamer, which slightly tapers at the end. In this clip, I'm doing something fairly stupid. I'm turning the reamer by holding it by the reamer itself, which is quite sharp. In fact, I think I'll stop doing that for the moment and just turn it by the end of the shaft. This is a very light reaming, and as you can see, it's going all the way through and everything's looking fine. If you look at the end of the reamer, and bearing in mind it wasn't clean to start with, it's removed very little metal. Time for a bit more oil. You can never have too much oil on main bearings. And after the oiling, it's time to fit the crankshaft and see what it feels like this time. Generally, I would fit a crankshaft and remove it several times until I get it just right. And as I've said many, many times, if you don't get the crankshaft right, the rest of the engine won't be right either. So what does it feel like now? Well, it feels exactly the same as it did before I put the reamer through. So in actual fact, the reamer didn't remove any more metal. Here is a top tip. Proper engineers turn off now. This reamer is very old, and it's done a lot of reaming in its career. And what I'm doing at the moment is running a carbide tip tool down the cutting flutes. And why am I doing that, you may ask? It's not just to clean the reamer. As you run the carbide tip tool down the cutting edge, it raises a very, very slight burr on each cutting edge. So the reamer will cut very finely, but a tiny bit oversized. But in actual fact, this reamer is very worn, so it's probably cutting the right size now. I'm feeling slightly more pressure as it goes through. In fact, as the reamer is slightly sharper, I'm now using a cloth. After a while, it's time to refit the crankshaft and apply some more oil and see what it feels like this time. When I start to test run this engine once it's all together, I'll put a lot more oil in the oil cups, but for now, one drop will be fine. And now the crankshaft is as near to perfection as I can get. I can rotate it by the shaft itself with very little effort, and it's certainly not a rattle fit. I spent quite a lot of time just rotating the crankshaft to bed it in and it got even better, it is very, very free. I'm not going to fully reassemble the engine in this episode, there's some more work to do. So I'll remove the crankshaft, and leave you with this shot of a Bassett Loke Tangy engine with perfectly aligned main bearings. That's it for now, thanks for watching, and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my Main Steam Models website, Click on the section of the website that says Video Playlists. And by doing that, you will find it very easy to find other videos that you may like to watch.